Dachin Group of Companies. Derek did not use significant capital to start his first business. Whilst he was studying accountancy, he was more interested in making money work for him than counting it. Observing an opportunity watching parents trying to keep bored children occupied, his journey into entrepreneurship began. In those days, BWI, when bit but will it arrive, so there was a lot of delays. So I would go there and I see all the children on the ground and crying and the mothers don't know what to do with them. So it dawned on me that maybe if I got into this business, you know, maybe buy a few of these machines. The first one actually was a, was a Kiddie Rama, which was a, you put 25 cents into the box and it showed a little Popeye cartoon. So in a way, it's interesting that you started then and look where I am today with the big screens, you know. And I, I made my first success in my first business with really going out there and actually franchising them. Because I didn't have the capital then. And, and, and the, 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 the slogan was, have fun making money. Having a need for his own arcade business, he started a security company, Telecom Security, which today specializes in cash and transit services. Like so many entrepreneurs, Derek Chin got very little encouragement for his biggest business venture, the Movie Town Complex, which not only transformed the dying movie industry in Trinidad and Tobago, but has combined retail shopping with a dining epicenter. It took Chin a lot of time, persistence and courage to get the backing he needed to bring his vision to life. The idea was there, but how do you make this thing with, that is very capital intensive, how could I make it happen? Then the banks, how do I convince them to lend this, this greenhorn, um, that kind of money? Why would anybody want to go to your, your movie theater and pay $25 when it was $10, you got two, a double, you know, a globe. But through his persistence and with the support of some of his friends, he eventually got the financial backing he needed and the dream of Movie Town became a reality. But at first, it looked as if that dream might vanish in a puff of smoke. It got off to a rocky start. Even the first day we opened, you know, wasn't there and I said, Lord, oh, but really boy, I sink myself. The house had to go, I had to give everything to the bank. So it was a lot of, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of nervous energy. This locally born brand has earned its world-class status over the last 13 years with its premium offering of 22 screens in three locations and local artists have the chance to show off their talents at Fiesta Plaza. And the ticket sales that started so slowly, just 1,200 in the first week, have risen to over 1.6 million tickets annually with two more Cineplex projects scheduled to open in 2016 in San Fernando and the first regional branch in Guyana. Chin's stubbornness and his vision has paid off. As for his own part in the making of Movie Town, he says... And there is something at the end. You may not necessarily get to the level that you want to get to, but there is something that, that, that will come to you. I could have certainly done a lot less in terms of building Movie Town and still just have a cinema. That, that um, energy, that synergy, convince people that you could do it and then it would come. It would come. So it, it, come, it is a lot of hard work to, to sort of make yourself known.